Are you alright? Not really, boss. Terramy passed away last night. Oh no, poor Terry. Terramy. He will be missed. Yeah. You know, the best way to get through grief is to um, focus on your work. Right? I guess. So I want to embarrass some humans. Nothing too crazy. Potentially embarrassing someone sounds very cruel. I Hypothetically. Have... Hypothetically, you wait for them to use the restroom. Number two. Okay. You strategically enter the restroom after they have begun pinching their loaf. They'll sit quietly in the stall, pretending not to exist, waiting for you to leave. Right. Only what they don't know is you're not going to. Okay. Yeah. I said embarrass, Jim. Jimothy. I... And here's where the fun begins. As you were. You open the door as if to exit, and then you allow it to creak shut. And then you wait until you hear the signal, that sigh of relief that escapes their lips Stop. as if they were Atlas of Greek mythology releasing the weight of the world yeah. as they audibly and unceremoniously defile that porcelain throne. Then and only then you make your presence known, laughing, making sure that they know you know oh, goodness. that you heard that their shit symphony had an audience unbeknownst to them. It's just hypothetical. Everybody poops after all. Keep up the good work. There you are, Jim. Jimothy. Right, whatever. I want to ruin some mortal gatherings. Do you have any uh, ideas that might make people feel ill? Oh, I wouldn't know the first thing. I've always wanted to make people feel comfortable, not sick. Yes, of course. Hypothetically. Hypothetically, you spend a day eating beans and cheese. Did you say beans and cheese? Yes. The whole day? Yes. The following day, you go to an event that's in an enclosed space and very populated. Okay. When there's a large enough group of people, you let loose the bean and cheese monstrosity that has been brewing and fermenting in your body overnight. Is this a fart joke? Because a, a Dutch oven is quite frankly child's play, Jim. Jimothy, and I'm not done. As you were. You follow it up with an announcement loud enough for all of those people to hear. And the message is this. Is someone making popcorn? Oh. Those simple words, akin to Pavlov and his dogs, will force all of the people around you to take a deep nose breath. Yeah. That simple statement serves as the mechanism for their own self-betrayal as they inhale what they expected to be the delightful aroma of popcorn. Yeah. Their nostrils are greeted with the smell of death itself. That is a fly. But I don't know if they'll actually get sick from something like that. You are by far the best employee I have ever had. <laughs> Keep up the good work. Happy to help, boss. I think I finally have you beat, Jim. Jimothy, Jimothy. Beaten what, boss? Torture. Would hope so, that's not really my wheelhouse. Right, yes, of course, empath, all that. I'm going to cover this person entirely in paper cuts. See how long it takes them to perish. What's that look for? That's super cool, boss. And what would you do differently? What? Nothing. I would never survive. Hypothetically. Hypothetically, I think you're thinking too small. How very dare you, Jim. Jimothy. And you need to spice things up. How would I do that? Rub salt in the wound. You mean me metaphorically, right? Literally. Uh, After giving them thousands of paper cuts, you roll them around in salt. That is diabolical. But wait, there's more. Uh, you then throw them into a pool of lemon juice, uh, like a margarita of death. Uh, a murderita, if you will. You've even thought of the branding. I'm comprehensive. But that's... Just a random idea, I don't know. Get to work on trademarking now. Right away, boss, I'm on it. I'll get the lemons. Great work. Are you going somewhere, boss? Keen observation, Jim. Jimothy. Right. I'm actually heading up north. Like, like heaven? Not that far north. I'm going to Canada. I mean, the people in the States are doing my job better than I could. Yeah, it's pretty bad up there. I know. Have fun. I want to keep it low key, but cause some frustration when I get there. Really hit the ground running, as it were. What do you suggest? Oh, I don't know. I, I always tried to spread smiles and cheer. Uh, hypothetically. Hypothetically, you do your due diligence. Okay. How so? As Canada has two national languages, your job is easy. Simple. Right. When you deboard the plane, you'll be greeted in both national tongues. Hello. Bonjour. Right. Well, linguistics aside, Jim. Mon nom est Jimothy. Et je n'ai pas fini. When did you learn French? You respond to their hello, bonjour, with a hello, bonjour of your own, making them guess which language to proceed in. That is so annoying. Something so trivial yet. So infuriating. My goodness. But it's probably a bad idea. No, you are phenomenal. Stop, no, you. I'll see you when I get back. All right, uh, bon voyage. Okay, great work. There you are, Jim. Jimothy. 
Right. I need your help. With what? I want some more ideas for revenge. Oh, revenge? I, I could never... I'm a lover in it. And an empath, of course. Hypothetically. Hypothetically, revenge is very specific. Right. It is served best when you take something from them that they can never get back. Like? Hypothetically, you're dropping your kid off at daycare. Okay. And another dad cuts you off in the drop-off line. Right. So the next day, you go early. And you wait. I'm not really getting revenge vibes from this gym. Timothy. And this is where the fun begins. As you were. You wait patiently until he drops off his kid and leaves. And then what? Then you call his kid over to your car. Towards the what? trunk. What will happen? You then? open the trunk and you pull out a bicycle. What are you going to do with it? You then teach his child how to ride a bike. No. Because try as he might, he can never get that moment back. Good gracious, Jim. Oh, the Jim. But that's just hypothetical. I don't even know. I don't pay you nearly enough. I'm very satisfied with my current working conditions. I'm so glad to hear that. If that should ever change, please let me know before you do anything. Yeah, sure thing, boss. All right. Keep up the good work. To control some people, Jim. Jim, right, of course. Do you have any suggestions? Oh no, I, I try to make the world a better place. I, of course you do. Hypothetically. Hypothetically, you'd find the most popular local park where people are undoubtedly enjoying the nice weather. I know what a park is, Jim. Jimothy. And all you have to do is merely enter the park. Please, continue. But wearing a falconry glove. What? Falconry glove like for the birds? Like the predatory bird. Okay. And do you know what that does? It forces everyone with small children and dogs to make a decision. Oh my. Either immediately leave in a panic or continue and fight in vain to enjoy this beautiful day. Oh my. All the while in the back of their mind like an itch they cannot scratch is the possibility of a falcon that may or may not scoop up huh. the small children or animals that they love so dearly. It's torture. But that's just an idea. I love it. How do you come up with these, Jim? Mothe, Jim Mothe. Oh, I'm on the internet a lot. You know, like memes, tweets, a lot of stuff around there. Okay. There you are. Hey, boss. I want some more ideas for revenge. Revenge is really not my wheelhouse. I'm a lover. Yes, and right. An empath, lover, etc. Hypothetically. Hypothetically, revenge needs to be specific. Go for instance, you're giving a presentation in school, at work, wherever and someone decides to cross you by actually using the time for questions to ask questions, to poke and prod and attempt to find a chink in your armor. The worst kind of people. Indeed. So what do you do? You find out when they are presenting and on what topic. You spend the time leading up to that fateful day becoming a veritable professional in the subject matter, building an arsenal of information. Oh. You sit patiently through their presentation. Okay. And when it's over, you I unload your arsenal upon no. them. You make it rain hellfire. Jim. And this is where the fun begins. You ask them question after question as if it were common knowledge. You break their spirit so they can never cross you again. But that's really just a... an example. You go next week, tell me. To... Yeah. You don't have to attend. But you're presenting to everyone. I was looking forward to it. I'll, I'll, I'll talk to you separately. Okay.